and saying hello today on the morning of February 22nd, 2011 from beautiful Montreal, Quebec. And it's unfortunately my last day in Montreal, but I just walked down here from the other place that I just visited, Olivier Gourmando, which is a wonderful cafe bakery. And I literally stumbled into your uh, museum of history here, the Centre d'Histoire de Montréal. And I'm here with Tyler Wood, who is actually a history guide, right? I'm, uh, yes, I'm a guide mm -hmm. here at uh, the Centre d'Histoire. Uh -huh. And we're, um, we're run by the city, actually, which gives us kind of a neat mandate. We're not um, uh, interested in, in just any little bit of history. We kind of want to present a general portrait of history and, and the stories behind Montreal and, the, and Montrealers. Um, so we, we talk about all sorts of different things, but it's always about the city. And uh, here we are. Yeah, I wanted to show this. In front of uh, our, our lovely scale model here, mm -hmm. just hanging out in the lobby. Um, this shows Montreal mm -hmm. at around 1742, which would be about a hundred years um, after the city was founded. Okay. And I think a lot of people don't realize that um, you've been walking around Old Montreal. Yes. Well, Old Montreal, it wasn't always called Old Montreal. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Montreal <laughs> in the beginning. Uh -huh. And the old city is really the part that we see right here. So this would be Ville Marie. Um, the, oh, well, is this Ville already Montreal? They would have started to call it Montreal at this point in the 1800s. Oh, really? Yeah. Already? Okay, at that time. But mm -hmm. the, 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 the distinction is, well, you can see that there's a fortified wall around mm -hmm. the city. Yep, I can um, see the wall right here, yeah. So everything within the limits, you, mm -hmm. you could call Old Montreal today, except right. the fortifications have been taken down. They've mm -hmm. been gone for about 200 years. Um, you can still see traces of them uh, yes. um, behind City Hall. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yes, it's, it's more of a, a, you get a sense of where old Montreal is. We're right on the limit. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually where the Centre d'Histoire is right now. It's in an old fire hall. And a couple hundred years ago, there was a river running through here. You're kidding. On its, on its way into the St. Lawrence River. Uh -huh. um, so this was actually sort of um, in, in between two uh, uh, banks. Mm -hmm. But it was filled in. And... Um, they built this fire hall in 1903. Okay. Um, and it's a beautiful building. What what style is it? Um, I heard it called Queen Anne style. Uh huh. Um, so if you want to get really technical, it's not exactly Queen Anne. Mm -hmm. I think there's some inspiration, certainly some Flemish elements. Yes. But um, it's 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 kind of a unique blend of several things. I think it is, as many things are here. Uh huh. Um, and uh, so it was a fire hall up until about the 70s, and mm -hmm. then it was um, closed down. And in 1983, the Centre de Montréal opened. It's been around for now, uh, I guess, as long as I have it, 28 years. Okay, okay. So we've been quietly plugging along here, and uh, we have a very, um, I'd like to think, a good reputation. People seem to really enjoy coming here, getting a, a general sense of Montreal's history. Mm -hmm. And we actually, because we're run by the city, we encourage people to go to our neighborhood neighbors next door, right. other museums, exactly. check out different aspects so things get different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now I wanted to point out something else on the wall here because here it starts to get really yeah. interesting. This Please tell a, me about this uh, model up here. Well, this is a model of, uh, well, at least a, a big chunk of Montreal Island, about 1930. Uh huh. Um, I don't think it has every house, but it gives you a pretty good idea. Yeah. Of, um, well, what you the can city see the like. uh, the mountain here. The Oh, yeah. Mountains right here. I'm using the yeah. laser pointer. Yeah, that's good. And just to get, put us into context, we're right. Um, let me see here. You must be down we're right there. Down there. Here's the green the, dot. Okay. Yeah. Um, you so can actually Montreal quite comfortably right walk up to the mountain from here. It's not that far, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it may be an hour. Comfort is, is a, is a if you're a hiker, let's oh, put it that yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, people will um, have hotels in downtown and mm -hmm. walk down to Old Montreal. Exactly. And uh, yeah, no, Old Montreal. I mean, the mountain is very close. Yeah, it's phenomenal, phenomenally walkable as a city. I think so. Yeah, it's I great. Think so um, there's. So especially in summer, but even in winter, mm -hmm. um, you can always use the subway to take little trips. Or the underground pathways that you guys have. That's right. If, um, you, if you know how to get your way through there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's great. So, um, so what else do we have on here? Well, I mean, let me think. Uh, so Old Montreal, uh -huh. that part of the city that was fortified, is about this here. Okay. Uh, and you can see the city's much larger now. Mm -hmm. um, 
the old port, of course, is right next door with the large uh, piers. Yes. Um, so we've got the, the Zakatsi Bridge here. Uh huh. Was that was there in the 30s? Already? It was built in 1929 or 30. Oh, okay. So shortly before. Yeah, and this is St. Helens Island, uh -huh. um, where La Ronde is now. Yeah. The Stuart Museum, yeah. the Biosphere, mm -hmm. the casino uh, is on another island, but it's not on this model because. Uh, the other island. The other island right would here. be down here. Uh, Notre Dame. That was built for Expo. Yeah. And Expo 67. Was on those two, uh, mm -hmm. two islands. Okay. So that gives you an idea of sort of we're we're right on to the St. Lawrence River. Yeah. But you can see the Montreal stretches all the way north to the. Now, the what is the, the river at the top there? What is that called? That is the Rivière des Prairies. Uh huh. Um, and there's actually a town or a neighborhood called the Rivière. Now. That's an area I've never about. checked out actually. Oh, it, no. Is it like historic and nice old buildings? Or? Well, certainly you have some, uh, yeah. some elements that are just the latest suburbs to Montreal, but mm -hmm. very early on there was a community that set up on the north uh, shore, uh, the north uh, bank of the, the uh, island. Mm -hmm. So you do have some historic uh, Great. areas. Great. So next time I come here, maybe I should check that out as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is what's interesting about Montreal. You, you, there's always these things that you think you've done everything, and then exactly. you find out there's a whole new neighborhood to That's discover. That's right. I know. It's lovely. Well, where are we going to head on the next clip? Well, I think we might want to check out our permanent exhibit uh -huh. next, okay. uh, because that will give you a general sense of, of Montreal. Sounds great. Do you guys have a website also? We do. It's uh, part of the city's website. Uh -huh. um, I think you can probably just Google Centre d'Histoire de Montréal. Okay, and I'm going to show how that is spelled for those of us that are not so great at French. This is how it's spelled, uh, le Centre d'Histoire uh, de Montréal. Mm -hmm. Perfect, so we're going to head off to the next area now. Thank you so much, Tyler. You're welcome.